Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the end of last year and the start of a new year, 2024, I thought this may be a good time just to kind of do a quick recap and what we would consider maybe to be a so-called year in review of where we found Windows at the end of 2023 and possible developments rolling into this year, 2024. Now, most of the kind of topics we're going to talk about today, I have already posted individual videos on, and those will all be down in the description box if you'd like more info. Now, first of all, starting with the launch of Windows 11 back in October of 2021 with version 21H2, which was the original release. Currently, we are sitting on version 23H2. That happened just over two years ago. And although Windows 11 has been on the scene now for give or take just over two years, it has had quite a slow adoption rate. And the slow adoption rate, as many of you will also know, and as we have posted quite in depth on the channel, is because mainly because of the strict minimum system requirements to be able to run uh, Windows 11, where a lot of Windows 10 devices, as an example, cannot upgrade to Windows 11 because of the steep, mainly CPU and TPM2 hardware requirements, including my own Windows 10 laptop. And I think a lot of you also find yourself in the same situation. And although Windows 11 has had quite a slow adoption rate, Microsoft has already mentioned, as I posted previously, that they say that Windows 11 is already running on approximately 400 million devices. Now, according to StatCounter, though, and I do post StatCounter videos almost from month to month, um, they push out the global stat server results for different OSs and browsers and so on. Most users are still running Windows 10 compared to Windows 11, where Windows 10 is sitting on about 70% or so, give or take market share, where Windows 11, according to StatCounter, is sitting anywhere between 23 and 26%. It kind of goes up and down a little bit like that. So as you can see, just by those global stat survey results from StatCounter, um, the majority of users are still running and prefer Windows 10. And that's also mainly because of the strict system requirements to be able to upgrade to Windows 11. A lot of devices, including my own, are unable to. Now, with all this going on, Microsoft is also going to be ending support for Windows 10 in just under two years' time, which is in October 2025. And because of this, um, a recent report by Canals, which I did post on, they said that in this report there will be 240 million PCs that could be dumped when Windows 10 support ends in 2025. And obviously, um, due to this, there was a lot of public outcry. And even on this channel, there's quite a lot of debate um, in the comments going on about that. And because of this, the public interest research group, PRRG, they filed a petition um, asking Microsoft to basically reconsider ending support for Windows 10 in 2025 due to the landfill and all those PCs being dumped. Obviously, that's an environmental disaster um, waiting to happen. And uh, um, that was the PRRG, the public research uh, group, who uh, pushed out that petition. And shortly after they rolled out that petition, um, Microsoft then, I think due to public pressure, um, which was never officially confirmed, but I think that's the case. They announced an extended security update ESU program for Windows 10, which basically means, as we can see, it comes at a price. So it's a paid subscription that gives you three more years of support for uh, from Microsoft for Windows 10 after support is officially ended for the OS on the 14th of October 2025, which means that takes that into... 2028 but obviously a lot of users don't want to have to pay for windows 10 which is also causing a bit of debate and outcry now with all this going on we still have a possible windows 12 that's going to be thrown into the mix or as microsoft is calling it the next generation or a new version of windows now at this stage microsoft as i've posted has never ever officially confirmed what that next version of windows is going to be is it just going to be 
a Windows 11 24H2 feature update? Is it going to be a possible Windows 12 or something else? But due to a lot of reports and suggestions and even uh, videos we've had a look at on this channel, um, we do think that Microsoft is going to push out a possible Windows 12, which is going to be more focused on AR. And I posted on this just the other day, and I'll leave this video, like all the others, down below, where Dell showcased how AR in Windows 12 could possibly function. And as we know, Microsoft is already focusing on AR with Copilot, and we do know that the next generation of Windows, be that whatever, Windows 11, 24H2, something else, or Windows 12 is going to be focused and become a more AR powered OS with a lot of artificial intelligence built directly into the OS. So that's just a quick roundup basically of last year in review where we found ourselves at the end of 2023 with Windows and moving into this year. And obviously, and we're going to, we are expecting to see some significant changes with future versions of Windows this year. And I will obviously, as always, keep you posted. And as I get more information, um, I'll keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.